this fruiting structure um, is a result of a flower from the 1st of August last year, 2017. And on the night of the 1st of August, we pollinated the female flowers on this inflorescence. And the result is that we, we got these fruits produced. However, we believe the fruits have actually failed um, and that we don't have successful seed inside. Um, but we'll at least preserve some of the fruiting structure um, for future studies. The fruit has become um, quite soft. Um, it's no longer firm, which is the case when you have a seed inside, but it doesn't feel like there's any, any seeds. If you open it up, no seeds have formed. But we will preserve this. We've got a preservation solution here. So that's one fruit opened lengthways, and I'll pick another fruit and open it um, the other way. That one looks like there was a, a start of a fruit that it may have aborted, and so even if that was to develop into a, a seed, the structure is not going to be able to hold it long enough. But this has deteriorated really quickly. I will take a, a section out for the, for the spirit jar first, and hopefully some fruits will stay attached. Let's clean it up a bit. Yep, so they're... Okay. So where are you going to drop that from the bottom? Just get, yeah, I'm going to saw it down at the base. And then we want it to hold it with two. Oh, sadness. Oh. No, the leaf is totally fine. When the leaf dies down, which will probably be um, spring next year, because they usually grow for about 18 months when they're this size. The corm should go dormant for maybe a month and then we'll be able to excavate it, see how it's grown, which it probably will have. It may have even split in two um, because it was layered. We'll excavate, have a look, put some fresh compost in and it may even flower next year.